We recently developed uh, what's called a rack safety flywheel. And the idea behind that is to have an overarching concept and structure around the fundamental elements of rack safety. So I would encourage folks that are wondering where do I start? Why is this important to, 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 to take a look at the flywheel that we developed? We, we first presented it uh, at ProMat just a few months ago, but the fundamentals of it are like, like why is this important? Why rack safety? Then we go into the, the, the basic building blocks of uh, why an employee believes this is important. So from an employee well-being perspective to an operational efficiency to just an overall compliance, those are three legs of the stool that help us understand why rack safety and is it important thing that we want to start focusing on. And then it goes into uh, having uh, almost an equal amount of third-party expertise and in-house knowledge. The last thing you want to do, as you set off in your program, is to be 100% reliant on outside experts. I think initially you'll need to do that, but eventually you'll want to balance that out between, okay, I'll have somebody come in on a periodic basis. Maybe it's once a year, maybe it's once every couple of years, or even more frequently, but you want to bridge those gaps with internal folks that now understand the importance of rack safety that could identify damage on their own so that you're not, you don't have these huge gaps in time between, oh, I've got all these things I have to do because Charles sent an inspector at my warehouse. And then a year goes by, no one's looking at the racking. And now you're waiting a year before you get another set of results back. So I'm a big proponent of educating the masses, uh, ensuring that we empower our employees to, to, to be able to identify things. And then we have all these other surrounding building blocks of the flywheel from, we talked about inspections, the quality of the reporting, uh, the action plan that we put in place to maintain the racks once they're damaged, the prevention uh, elements so that we prevent damage from happening. Then of course, having it all tied together by having a, a tool of some sort where we could track the progress of things. So so the flywheel is a great uh, way to, to understand I think the importance of rack safety, and I would direct folks towards towards looking at that. Again, it's not a salesy element. It's something that's meant to be agnostic uh, to the industry, but I think it's a good step forward towards understanding rack safety.